let's take another look at question 9b3 so it says we must determine the average speed of the cyclist over the 40 second period so let's use our knowledge of the equations of motion to see how we can solve this again and see if we get similar answer all right now you have constant acceleration between 0 and 25 seconds and then constant speed from 25 to 40 seconds remember first of all there's a formula telling you that speed is distance divided by time so speed is equal to distance divided by time all right suppose we should find the total distance first of all you remember that um the acceleration in the first 25 seconds was meters per second per second that is it was the slope of 10 meters per second divided by 25 seconds you can simplify this 5 into 10 2 5 into 25 5 2 fifth meters per second per second all right that's the acceleration now if you remember the, the equations of motion you have v equal u plus a t that is the final velocity is initial velocity plus acceleration time time times time um v squared equal u squared plus 2ax that is final velocity squared equal initial velocity squared but plus 2 times acceleration time distance also x equal ut plus half at squared all right now let's see if we can find out the distance traveled in the first 25 seconds we have x equal initial velocity of 0 times time plus half times the acceleration of 2 fifth times 25 squared so x distance is equal to we can see that 20 to 1 20 to 1 so we have 1 fifth times 25 squared 625 so we have 625 divided by 5 giving you 125 so in the first part of the journey the cyclist would have traveled 125 meters all right so between here and here now the second part of the journey here you know that the distance when you transpose this equation distance is equal to speed let's just use, use s multiplied by time t so constant speed of 10 multiplied by the time between 40 and 25 seconds 40 minus 25 so it's 10 times for the minus 25 that's going to be what 15 so this is 150 meters so the total distance let me just call it the total is equal to 150 plus 125 
that's 5100567 and 2 270 meters no it took 270 meters um, it took 40 seconds to cover the 270 meters so if you consider that then the speed average speed is equal to distance 270 divided by time of 40 270 divided by 40 gives you 6.75 all right so that's 6.75 so let's review again acceleration is 10 meters per second divided by 25 seconds in the first part of the journey that's 5 into 10 2 5 into 25 5 2 fifth meters per second per second using x equal ut plus half at squared we have 0 t plus half by 2 fifth times the time squared 25 squared and this works for constant acceleration as what happened here so it's one-fifth times 625 625 divided by 5 125 so the cycle should have traveled 125 meters for the first 25 seconds now here constant speed at 10 for another 15 seconds so 10 by 15 distance is speed multiplied by time so a speed of 10 meter per second times a time of 10 seconds give you 150 meters when i add them together 150 plus 125 oh i made an error here i realized that 5 plus 0 is 5 so it's 275 should be 275 divided by 40 275 over 40 6.875 it should be right so 6.875 meters per second right I was suspecting that I had made a mistake somewhere because I didn't get back the exact answer that I got before so it's right here 125 plus 5 plus 0 is 5 so it would have been 5 here so 275 divided by 40 give you 6.875 not this this was incorrect so it's 6.875 met meters per second is the average speed Thank you.